The First Amendment audits grant individuals the right to record videos in public spaces such as town halls, libraries, police stations, and parking lots. One advocate of these rights is Sean Paul Reyes, who operates a popular YouTube channel called Long Island Audit, which has gained over 547k subscribers. His mission is clear, to test whether officials at police stations, town halls, and other public places respect the public's right to record. And by sharing his experiences on YouTube, Reyes aims to make the government more transparent and accountable. He is always on camera while visiting such places. If you have followed Reyes for a while, you might be familiar with the lawsuit he filed against the NYPD. But do you know why? If not, stay with us as we will learn the reason why he filed the lawsuit and get an update on what happened afterwards. On July 2023, Sean Paul Reyes filed a lawsuit against NYPD over his right to record in police stations. Here's what happened. Reyes visited the NYPD at the 61st Precinct in Brooklyn, New York to exercise his First Amendment rights and document the process of filing a formal complaint against an officer. However, he was confronted by Sergeant Kojimet, who insisted that recording was not allowed in the lobby. Despite this, Reyes stood firm in his decision to exercise his right to record police officers on duty. This led to the arrival of Officer Giovanni Kakuza, who became aggressive and threatened arrest if the recording continued. Ultimately, Reyes was handcuffed tightly, charged with criminal trespassing, and held for six hours. All the charges against him were dismissed and his camera and phone were returned to him after three months. Following this, he shared the video before his arrest to the public through his YouTube channel, in the same video, he announced that a lawsuit was on its way. Likewise, he faced a similar situation in the NYPD 75 precinct in June, where he had to endure 12 hours of imprisonment. In this case, he was forced to leave and not record in the lobby. In the video, we can see police officers being aggressive towards him. As he didn't comply, he was ultimately arrested. Well, he faced similar situations in various NYPD precincts. Well, he had promised there would be a federal lawsuit against NYPD and with that, he also started a GoFundMe page to support his criminal defense case with a goal to raise $25,000. Remarkably, he was able to raise $21,585 as of now, Throughout both the lawsuit and imprisonment, his lawyer Jacob Uriel, who has a decade of experience in criminal law, was there to support him. On July 26, Sean Paul Reyes shared a video on his channel titled Federal Lawsuit Press Conference. Sean Paul Reyes vs. NYPD Commissioner. Enough is enough. In the video, a spokesperson stated that they have filed a lawsuit against the NYPD to challenge their policy prohibiting recording in precinct lobbies, which is deemed illegal and violates several laws. Well, there are no further updates on this topic at the moment, but rest assured, we'll keep you informed if there are any new developments. So, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Do you think Long Island Audit will win this lawsuit and make NYPD more transparent? Share your thoughts in the comments section. And that wraps up today's video. Stay tuned with us and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.